Halfway across the world, a street culture exists. Unique because of its surroundings, people, and geography. A subculture that has influenced millions, but is yet misunderstood. A world where heroes inspire, respect is earned, and where legends are made. A place where friends gather and technique tested. Here, cars have a soul and character. They are as diverse and unique as the people who love them. Let us take you on a journey deep into the street racing world. Dive into the realm of the street tuning culture as we see it. The true story is waiting for you. Our story is waiting for you. Welcome to JDM Insider. If we had a good car. Oh, we got double wheels. We got double wheels. Yeah! <laughs> okay, why don't we have the new JDM Insider resident tuner take you around on this car and let me let, let him show you what he thinks of this piece of machinery that we're going to be cruising around with to bring you the greatest street racing ever. Well, here in Japan, they have these uh, type of cargo vans. They're called uh, one boxes, and uh, they're just shaped like one box. So inside is designed to carry people and cargo and stuff like that. Really basic. It's like a simple shell with a motor. This one in particular is four wheel drive, and it's got the dually wheels in the back. But I'm afraid it's got a small four cylinder engine. Small motor. We're going to be hurting going up the hills and the mountains and toges and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, here we got uh, dually wheels designed for a higher load capacity so you can have more cargo or more people in the back. Um, they're pretty small though. They're like two little, uh, oh crap, they're 12 inch wheels. They're 145s and 12 inch wheels. <laughs> oh, and down in there we got the leaf spring suspension with the simple monotube shock. Um, once again, pretty basic, but it'll do the job. Uh, don't expect, uh, we're not gonna get a very good ride quality out of it, but hey, it'll do the job. Uh, here's the driver's compartment. Really simple, no tack because the engine probably doesn't make any power, nor does it rev very high. Um, really simple, it's got the truck position steering wheel, you know, for that, for that ease of steering. Um, other than that, very little sound dampening, if any, and uh, it's gonna be a rough and loud ride. <laughs> All right, woke up at four in the morning today. It's uh, five in the morning. It's pretty bright uh, for five in the morning, but uh, today we have a special guest who's met up with us, and uh, we have none other than DJ Nobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Morning, man. And so today, where are we gonna go? Mogara Saki to. Doko ni aru desu ka? Shibaken. Shibaken. Daitai, kou, 
え大体地図で見たらどれくらいですかちょっと説明してください横浜でしょ、うん、はいはいうち東京でしょこう千葉県こん,こんなにでかい千葉県で千葉県があって何時間ぐらい行くかるんですか何時間ぐらいかかるんですか ?Way too long I don't want to be in this car for three hours Once again we're gonna take the bongo van three hours and go to Mobara So Here we go, off to Mobara, off to testing with ORC. Okay. Yeah, there's no way you could leave GTRs outside in America. I mean, only in Japan can you leave them outside because if you left them outside in the morning, you'd have missing intercoolers, missing headlights, missing hoods. There's no way. I think parked outside is close to about 800 grand of cars. Welcome to Mobara Twin Circuit. We're here today with JDM Insider to film the uh, ORC uh, Top Secret uh, Z33 with Yoichi Mamura. They have a new, uh, new setup on the car, transmission, new differential, new everything, so we'll see how that does. Uh, we also have a bunch of uh, amateur cars here, uh, drifting cars. We have Mark II's, Chasers, we have Hachiroku, so should see a lot of good action today. Hyped up about going out there, seeing some of the, uh, the real drifting, the real action in Japan. So, once again, Mobara Twin Circuit, here we go.
巻き込むんじゃなくてその場でその場を起点に巻き込むんじゃなくて。リバンプがを固くできる。できる。でリバンプがをちょっと固くしてリアの起き上がりを少し遅らせたら治るかもしれない。それが。じゃあちょっとやってみましょう。それだけでも多分ちょっと。それだとそこが正解かもしれないし間違いかもしれない。そうですね。まあダメだったら別にそんなせい。今日はそんなあれだから。
are here with uh, Yoichi Mamura. He's the uh, driver for the ORC Top Secret uh, Z33. We had a cool session here of testing at a Mobara circuit. お疲れ様です。今日どうだったまあ、あの全体的にあの、まずアメリカのアウィンデールが終わって、うん。あの、車の周辺こうかなりして、フロントのエンジン、まあ、エンジンも変えたし、フロントの足回りも変えたし。今
、えー、どういう会社についての説明をさせてもらいますがまず小倉クラッチというのはあ今年創立70年を迎える会社で非常に歴史的には古い会社でありますもともとはあのー、飛行機の部品ですとかあと1949年には当時のスクーターですね、えー、オートバイを作り出したりとかしてる会社でありましたでその後、えー、1964年に自動車のカークーラー用のカークーラーのコンプレッサーにつける、えー、クラッチの製造から始まって現在に至るわけですけども基本的には小倉クラッチというのは、えー、全体の売り上げの 60% がーカークーラー用のクラッチ、えー、残りの 30% が一般産業のクラッチ。で残りの 10% ぐらいがですね実は、えー、レース用のクラッチ等々を作っている会社でございますあのこれから小倉クラッチ ORC のブランドがどう展開していくかということですけども、まあ、基本的にはあのー、ORC というブランドは強化、あのーまあ、クラッチのブランドの中でも一番後発隊一番その最後に作られた、まあ、クラッチ、えー、メーカーなわけですでしたがって、その一番後発隊のクラッチメーカーだからこそ今までのなか,今までなかったようなそのクラッチの開発 ORC is a brand name usually associated with heavy duty clutches and hardcore racing we here at JDM Insider have been invited to a sneak peek tour to see all the madness behind the scenes so hope you guys enjoy this segment we're going to take our team and go check out the facilities here すべてあのフライホイールの材料で肝臓品です、えー、車の形式によってすべて、えー、寸法が違うのでこんなにいっぱい形式がありますこれがさっきの機械で削られてフライホイールになりますここの旋盤2台で、えー、クラッチカバーのー加工をやってます材料はこのような、まあ、炭蔵品ですこの炭蔵をこっちの面とこっちの面とこの機械とこの機械で、えー、加工しますそうしますとできたものが、まあ、こんな形で綺麗に削れますでこれであとはあダイヤフラムがつく穴だとか取り付けの穴そういったものを開けて、えー、終わりますこれは全て、えーこっちの大きい機械でやってます。このま機械でこういう穴開けをやってます。これで終わります。これでセーブする次に、あとはあアルマイトをして仕上がるということです。This gentleman behind me, what he's doing is he's doing the final assembly, testing, and packaging of the twin and triple plate clutches. First, he puts it together with the flywheel, diaphragm, plates, clutches, clutch discs, all together, torques it down together. He puts it on the machine to check the travel and make sure the clutch is fully engaging and disengaging. 
Um, next, he also tests the diaphragm's pressure to make sure that there's enough um, spring pressure to, to, to grab the power it's designed to grab. And finally, he packages it, straps it up, and puts it on the pallet. Um, you know, being that Ogura clutches are made in Japan and they're tested before assembly, that's a big thing. That makes sure that that makes that ensures that when you put it in your car, that the thing works. Um, try that in your made in Taiwan stuff. The Ogura factories are ISO 9001 and ISO 14001 certified. This ensures the highest quality in manufacturing and environmental management. Awards in excellence from Ogura's partners and customers adorn the headquarters boardroom. Just ask Mr. Na. So, do not enter, only employee. Okay? So here we are at uh, Ogura's engine test bench dynamometer room. And here what they got, they got rigged up here an RB26 with a T88 turbo. So you know it's making some good power. And what they use this engine for, it's like a test mule for testing uh, coefficient of friction uh, of different materials, pressure plates, things of that sort to try different combinations and to get new working clutches. There's also a variety of transmissions on the floor. Um, wave suspension, sequential six speeds, stock trannies, you know, all kinds of goodies. And um, the engineers aren't telling me how much power the engine's making, but it's gotta be making enough to test clutches, so you know it's making some good power. Uh,なぜこのカートランドを作ったかというと、元々僕自身がそのカートに乗り出して、それでそのモータースポーツに興味を持った。でもしかし、ま、今僕のこの時代の当時のその豪華とというのはですね、非常にあの豪華なものであったっていうことですね。で、豪華なものであったということとそのある限られた場所に行かなければそのカートを乗ることができなかったし、カートに触れることができなかった
各部品ともお金かかって、えー、スペシャルになってますでこの隣の45番これ新型私のマイカート、えー、ここはカート上のですねカートをメンテナンスするキットです、えー、彼はですねこのスタッフの上村です、えー、今日はあのー、彼がですね、えー、もちろんここはホームコースですから、えー、彼のタイムがどのぐらい出るかそれをちょっと確認してもらって、えー、都市とどんだけの差があるか、えー、都市が果たして喋、えー、るとは別にドライビングテクニックがあるかどうかちょっとそれを見てみましょう My name is Toshi Hayama and I'm representing Team JDM Insider はいえー、上村純一です、えー、チーム ORC 代表として、えー、アメリカから乗り込んできた彼には負けません。OK、on the left we got Toshi Hayama, on the right we got Umar, and Tosh doesn't have too many stats. <laughs> Alright, here we go, starting line number 39, Tosh, number 69, Umar. Launch. And Tosh takes the lead. There he goes in the project new corner. Urmur is right behind him. You know, he's trying to keep up. Actually, he's just warm up the tires for me. <laughs> he goes Tosh. Hairpin, hairpin. We got a hairpin right here. Oh, pretty good. Sight. Rumor passes his ass because Tosh spun the fuck out. <laughs> there we go. Shkane, Shkane, Parapane. Parapane coming right here. This is out so fun, I think. <laughs> there it is. Rumor on his ass. Down the straight. Has hit the first breaking point. Holy oh, shit, Rumor out breaks his ass. But he's just fucking with them, huh? Right there. He's done his own screws, you know, he's like, oh, I'm gonna stay here, man. Oh, he jacked his ass! <laughs> he jacked his ass like a man! Straight up, dude! <laughs> there it is, we're going to fun now. But there's the back cap. Okay, I just uh, got my butt kicked by Mr. Wimura here. And uh, damn, when he really put on the accelerator, when he really got serious, he just blew me away, right? And so I would get panicked. And I would start flooring him more, and I spun out. やっぱりブレーキあー、はいはいはい、ちゃんとブレーキを使うところはしっかり使って、はいはいはい、でコーナーで流さないように、はいはい、流さないで前に、なるほどね、なるほどちなみに僕って遅かった遅いよ、いや、<笑>いやいやでも、早かったです、最初の2、3週は結構、あーもういいっすよ、<笑>もういいよ、<笑> He kicked my ass. He's a pro driver. I suck. 今日はありがとうございました。Where are we headed to? We're going to Oritos Bar, where all the race car drivers. Oh shit! Oh, the whole, where all the where all the race car drivers drink. Bar, and I don't think that's what it's called, but I would call it a Rito's Bar, wouldn't you? Dude, it's a Rito's Bar. Would you go? It's called Bar 559 Yokohama. Bar 559. I have no idea. What do you think 559 fit,、uh, means? Alright, so we're gonna go inside, see who's here. Bar 559. 
It's on. Thank you very much. Welcome, Champagne. Okay. How do you do? Good, good. How do you do? You know who this is? Yes. The badass drifter, Tajiri Oshara. Oh, we figured out what 559 means. Orito's daughter's uh, birthday. Uh, one is May 5th and one is uh, May 9th. This is Orito's wife. This is, she is 559. Look who's here. We have Yoichi Imamura, one of the top pro drifters in the world. Konnichiwa. Ano ne, ano koko wa ne Nihon no hashiri ya san, Orido san no ano daisuki na shito to, ato hashiri no daisuki na shito ga atsumareru ba toshite Orido san ga tsukutte kureta boku tachi no ikoi no hashiri ya no ikoi no ba desu. ね、オリドバー。ね、オリドバー。うん、オリドバー。お酒、こう、ビアね。これもね、本当。うん。ああ、うまいね、これね。もう、ベリーナイス。ビアだけじゃないよ。いろんなテキーラもあるね。いろん
1988年に、えー、HKS という会社に入社しまして、その後、1992年に APEX の設立メンバーとしてやってきまして、その後、えー、まあ、他のお店に行って修業して、自分で1999年にこの店を出しています。HKS で学んだことは、まず、マフラーの溶接、まあ、音の作り方、あと、キャタライザーですね。このキャタライザーの研究開発、そう、かなり勉強してやってきました。えー、アペックスで学んだことといえば、えー、クリーナー関係、FC、インタクーラー、まあ、タコ足から全てに関して、車のトータルバランスのチューニングの勉強をしてます。TS カンパニーのお客さんの層としましては今現状ドリフトのお客さんが7割ぐらいですねで2割はグリップ関係のお客さんであと1割一般のお客さんという形になります、えー、TS カンパニーとしての方向性としましては、えー、今後はできるだけ車検対応をメインとし、えー、なおかつ速い車の作成をしたいですあと乗ってても、えーまあ、デートに近いスポーツカーにしたいまあ、スポコン車とかの融合を考えていますまだ沼津はドリフトでメインをやっているチューニングショップが少ないため、えー、当社としてはこの沼津ではチューニングとして、まあ、ドリフトメインでやってるっていう部分ではかなりの割合を占めていると思います。車の作り方に関しててててもも、えー、のチューニングショップと違ってワンフの制作もかなりり手が出ておりますのでパイピング関係、マフラー関係をオリジナル、まあ、お客様のご要望に合わせたオリジナルで作るのが理想としてやります。そこがまあ味付けの違いというとになります。Pretty cool because we got all these JDM treats here today, you know, stuff we don't got in the States. So, this one is、uh, it's a pretty simple setup. So, it's got a, like a boost up. Boost up means、uh, pretty much everything around stock store. We got the bolt ons, downpipe, intercooler,、um, more boost, computer tuning. And that's pretty necessary for the drifters because it's a big, heavy car. I mean, you're talking 32, 3300 pounds, and you need that instantaneous response torque from the stock turbo. A car like this can drift pretty hard in the mountains. It's,、uh, Got plenty of response and all that good stuff. So, we're probably gonna check this car out tonight on the Toge and、uh, we'll let you know how it works then. We're standing in front of the JZX90 Toyota Mark II. Now, I know Eric went over a little of the、uh, engine stuff. I really don't care about that. Stuff I care about is how the car is used. And、uh, one thing that a lot of these Japanese cars have is like these guys smoke. Like crazy, and you know, they're puffing down and drifting one hand, they got their sugar tripping like that. So, like, a lot of times, there's like, the, it's, they really rock their cars. I and mean, you know, in the States, we really take care of our cars. They're sort of like, I don't want to say show cars, but then these guys just rock the crap out of them. So, I'm going to take a look at this car and see how、uh, an average kid、uh, rocks his Mark II. So,、uh, let's take a look at the、uh, trunk right now. Follow me. Okay. When you have a four door car, you got a big trunk for all your suitcases and your golf clubs. But I'm looking at the bottom here and I'm, I'm seeing, thinking I'm missing something. The whole bottom of this car has been cut out and it's all fiberglass now. And they welded a custom、uh, pipe here as, as a brace. You know, these four door cars,、uh, the structural rigidity is, is not so great,、uh, especially when you're drifting these cars. So they try to lighten them as much as possible and also stiffen them up as much as possible. So this is something interesting I've never seen. I don't, The car must be really loud, but、uh, interesting enough. Move along to the door. Okay, welcome to the back seat of this car.、Um, as you can see, they've stripped the whole interior out, completely defeating the purpose of having a four door car、uh, to me. But,、um, you know, just to make sure that no water comes up or gravel, they've plugged up all the unnecessary holes and they've started using hole saws to take out any unnecessary metal from the door. So there's holes here and all along the bottom. Okay, now moving to the front of the car. This car, actually,、uh, one of the、uh, interesting points about this car is it has the meter cluster from the JZX100, which is the newer model.、Um, really, this is a, more of a 
functional car than anything else. The guy is pretty serious about uh, his driving performance. So he has obviously relocated the uh, stereo system to the glove box, gauges replace all the uh, fancy stereo stuff. Um, really, and all there is is just an FC commander and, uh, and a steering wheel. <laughs> this is what it feels like to be in a real street drift car. So uh, pretty exciting. We'll see how this thing does tonight. Okay, over here we got a uh, pretty familiar sight for all you guys. It's an SR20, but what's different about it is that it's a drift car that makes 250 horsepower. Um, it's got mostly Apex stuff since TS is a Apex authorized distributor. Um, it's got the RX6 Asamo kit. Uh, it's got the Apex hybrid intercooler. Um, it's also got, what's unique about this drift car, it's got individual throttle bodies. Something that uh, most guys in the US haven't done yet, but uh, it's the individual throttles give the car more response, a broader power band, and lets you play with the cams a lot more. Like you can run bigger cams and still have a little more bottom end with the large plenum volume and the individual throttles. So uh, I think we're gonna see this car run tonight as well, and maybe even take a ride in it. So let's see how it does later. Okay, we got the uh, X Apex uh, D1 car here. It's got a, uh, it's the Altezza, so it doesn't have the 2J motor in it. What's unique about it, it's got the 3S. It's not just any 3S though, it's got a 3S with variable cam timing. Um, I know Apex had tried to compete with this car, but Yoichi wasn't quite getting the hang of it. But it's pretty unique because this is a aluminum block 3S, and just the fact that it's a shorter four-cylinder means that it's, it's sitting back in the engine bay so that the car has a much better front to rear balance. And um, although it's pretty unique, um, it's built, it's making like uh, 350 horsepower or so. Um, so it's got some balls, but sometimes there's no replacement for displacement. I, I myself would prefer a 2J. Um, that's about it. Today, I'm going to drive the place of Izuhan and Kinten. The level of driving is a high level of driving. I can drive a place of driving and driving a place of driving. I can drive a place of driving and driving. 安全性がかなりあるような峠になっております。今日走る人はうちのお店の全員お客さんになります in Izu, Japan. Right near next to me, I've got Mr. Yazaki, who's the president of TS Company. It was the shop that we checked out earlier today. We got a bunch of cars here, like 20 of them from all over the place. They're all his crew. Yazaki-san, today is really nice to meet you. Today, where are you from? This is our secret spot. Secret spot? Yes. What is this? Are you all Yazaki-san's friends? I'm a friend. I'm a friend. It's nice, it's nice. This place is the street. なんですかこうさっきも見てたんですけどこうちょっと説明していただけますか峠に関してまあどういうコースなのかえーコースの説明おかしいよねコースの説明わかんないコースわかんないんですかこれちょっと走ってんじゃないですかこれはあそれは困
邪魔に孫悟空孫悟空くそ寒いですねここどうでもいいですけど9度です9度九度だってもう春じゃないですか俺今日ジャケット持ってきてなくてトレーナーを二重に着てるんですけどありえないですねこんなの鼻水が出ますああもうこんなとこ痛くない次の車行きましょう次の車、はい、どこ何誰誰にしますか知らないっすよまだ見えないです俺も何も見えないじゃああっちの方行きましょうあっちあっちPut some in-car cams in it. Guy was kicking some major ass. Mr. Yazaki is looking for the owner. So we'll wait and see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Dan's a big guy. Owner, son, this guy. Hi. 
。あ、そうです。<笑>あれ、知らんすか、この車は自分のですか。あ、自分のですよ。ですよね。ちょっと簡単に車のスペックとか、ちょっと説明していただければ。いや。ノーマルですね、ほとんど。ああ、でも矢崎さん、あの、さ、さっき、あの、聞いた時に、あの。一番上手い人たちは誰なのトップ3言ってくださいとこの車推薦したじゃないですか、はい、車載乗せたじゃないですかどれくらい同期としてるんですかえー、7年ぐらい7年ぐらい、はい、ちょっとこうなんかポイントとか教えてくださいよなんかいいですかうわーなんか走りの走りの割には結構落ち着いてますよね<笑><笑>運転すると変わるんだ人間本当は。あそうですね<笑>これも矢崎さんのところでああいいですね、はい、これってちょっと重いそうだそうですねはいでもそれがまたいいんだいやそうですこれがタダだったんでタダだったんですかもらってありえねえアメリカではありえねえいいなタダだったらくださいよ<笑>いやがれそれはやるしだじゃあ分かりますじゃあオーナーさんですか違いますあれ<笑>オッケーもうだって言ってる誰ですか誰でしょうかね桜庭です<笑>この車のフェルスポイントはフェルスポイントは撃つんじゃねえか<笑>うーんと特に何だろう峠に似合う峠に似合う車峠に合った車寒くないですか。どうでもいいですけど。ええー、財布の中身が寒いかな。財布の中さ。どれくらいくつぎ込んでるんですか、お金車に。えー、っとね、少ないものだと思うんですけど。あ五十万ぐらい。五十万。で、ドリフト歴はどれくらいなんですか。さっき見てたら、結構うまかったんですけど。うん。ええー、どれくらいだ。十年ぐらい。十年ぐらい。なるほどね。今アメリカでもドリフトが流行ってるんですけど、なんかアメリカのユーザーになんか。言いたいこととか、なんかあります。コメント。うーんと、国際化が。よろしくお願いします。<笑>俺には関係ねえかみたいな。なるほどね。オッケー。オッケー。イエー。すごい。はい。今日は本当にありがとうございました。お疲れ様です。こんな平日の時、こんな寒い時にみんな来てもらって。お疲れ様です。帰りましょう。帰りましょう。帰りましょう。メイレイ。イエス。うー、寒い。Trying to trying to look for all the, the songs that we were singing last night. Everything's gonna be alright. Because last night we couldn't figure out the words, so we're trying to figure them out now. <laughs>、All、right, here at JDM Insider, we're always covering the street. We're going to racetracks, we're checking out the kids and their cars, but actually, what makes those cars move? It's not just exhaust systems and you know, light bolt on parts. A lot of them have built engines, and that's where we're at today. One of the pioneers in engine building in Japan, Tomei Power. What, dude, this place is like open since 1968, right? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's like older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> and it started out in 1968,、uh, making race engines,、uh, they went to race chassis. And then they started a street tuning division, which is Tomei Power that we know. And、oh. they, they make engines, cams, turbos, have like, you know. They have like three different divisions, right?、Uh, three divisions. It's actually uh, uh, the one we know, Tomei Power, is, is strictly st street car and tuning parts. But the other divisions, one of them is Tomei Engines, which is strictly Formula type engines.、Uh -huh. Like Formula Nippon, Formula 2000, for F3.、Uh -huh. um, then the other one is、uh, Tomei. I forget the name, I don't know if it's chassis or what, but they specialize in、uh, Formula Car type chassis. We've got、uh, one of our good friends from Tomei, his name's Eiji. He runs the、uh, US division, and we also got Alan from Australia. They're going to tell us a little bit more about the company because we don't know Jack. So we're going to go upstairs and check it out. Let's go.
Oh, yeah. Hi, Hoshi. Hey, Welcome. Hey, Alan. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello. Welcome back. Yeah. Hey, Eric. Hey. Thanks for thanks for taking the time out to oh. show us the uh, facilities here. That's fine. You guys yeah. got a lot yeah. of stuff going on, right? Yeah. All right. You're always welcome here. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Well, why don't you show us a little bit yeah, of the definitely. facilities? All right, cool. Let's check this out. I'll leave all the serious talk to Eric right now. Let me go check out my Tome. You know, they've got uh, cars downstairs, they have an engine dyno, they have uh, demo cars, all the stuff that I want to see. You're here with Toshi's Tome. It looks like uh, this is where the magic happens. So what, what, what goes on in here exactly? This is our climate controlled room where we dismantle the engines and then work our magic and build up our new derived or genesis engines. Okay, okay. Just pull them apart, overhaul. You, you say um, climate controlled, like uh, what, what temperature for what purpose? We keep it at a 23 degrees Celsius. Okay. It's for just a general for all the engine parts to make mm -hmm. sure. That way when, when they're measuring the bores and the pistons and, and all the clearances, there's no expansion or contraction of the materials. Exactly. So like it's dead nuts every time. Yes. Okay. So that's what I noticed about um, the machining, the quality of the machining here is just, it's, it's perfect. Um, I was looking at a 4G63 deck and I see that on the deck they actually lap it so it's perfectly flat. And um, in the States, you just don't see that. And for me, I, when I build an engine, I have to have a machine shop specifically lap it to my spec. You know? But it seems like here, it's, it's already happened, so it's super high quality. Yeah, we try to do everything as best as we can to keep it consistency and to bring out the best of what the engine can. Okay, cool. Which cool, is cool. our pride and our passion in order to excel. Right, right, right. Tight! GDB Impreza. See? Struck gold. Got all those tuning cars in the back. There's a Z right there. Dude, some crazy stuff. Yeah, let's go check this out. Under the skillful guidance of the train mechanic, the VQ engine gets dropped into the Z33, thus giving it life! Hey, so Alan, uh, I see in this room there's a crap load of machines. Um, what are these two big machines behind us? Basically, these two CNC machines that we have here okay. is the core of our company, okay. making the camshafts that we're famous for. Okay. So this machine that we have here, we've had it for like uh, over 20 years now. Okay. Does all the prototype camshafts, as well as customs and new designing for okay one-off or just the production to start. Right, right, right. This one back here looks a lot newer. Yeah, that one is uh, a lot newer. It's a Toyota CNC machine that does all the mass production range that we have. Okay, okay. So in that mass production, that's like the uh, the pawn cams. And you also have the pro cam, right? Yeah, the pro cams are more for the professional use, longer mm -hmm. durations, higher lifts. Okay. The pawn cams is more for everyone to use. Pawn okay. is, means Ease of installation, you just okay. drop in and away you go. <laughs> I always wonder what PON was, you know, just checking out the Tomei catalogs and stuff. Yeah. You know, so. PON has two meanings. One is the Japanese sound for just ease of installation, just PON. Oh. The other one is power of needs, so therefore P O N, PON. <laughs> okay, 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 got it, got it. Got yeah. it. Dude, this place is like a maze of just machinery. This is like, Exactly what I expected out of Tomei, you know? It's like machinery, high precision, creating cams, pistons, but I never thought it would. And there's like, a, there's like an aroma here, there's like a smell. There's a, the oil, the lubricants. But this is something like I love about, you know, actually, you know, parts manufacturers. And, and I've had my share of different kinds of factory tours. But uh, this, the building layout, it's, it's very effective. You saw how stylish the building is outside. 
but on the inside they've made effective use of every space so we're walking from the engine room now we're in the machining room and right now we're going to go into where the engine dyno area is and we're going to see if they have anything on the dyno so let's go welcome i'm captain of the ship do you know what this little red knob is control control close to 700 horsepower RB26 engine on the engine dyno here at Tomei Power. As I get deeper and deeper into this building, it gets darker and darker, and I'm still the idiot with the sunglasses on and everybody's staring at me. But as you can see, we have like three different computers. Um, I don't really know how to turn this thing on, but it looks really cool. And uh, no, but really, this is, a, this is something that's really expensive. Use it for, uh, to check uh, engine durability, parts testing. Also, they want to check uh, let's say different cam profiles on the car, stuff like that, but uh, I'm sure Eric will go over that. But I'm gonna continue my own personal tour. Alan, uh, I see we got an RB26 on the engine dyno. Yeah, it's uh, derived. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing the final stages of it, running it in, right, right, right. before we put it in a crate and ship it off to Australia for our customer. Okay, cool, cool. Looks like uh, you guys got two engine dyno armors, right? Yeah, because uh, when we get busy, this one is good for a thousand horsepower. Okay. The other one we had a VQ35 in there just yesterday. Oh, okay. Some top secret developmental stuff. Well, yeah. <laughs> in the okay. process to share the wealth. Right, right, right. The wealth of knowledge. Okay. Well, when are they going to run this? Uh, they're about to run it off now. So okay. we just better shut the door. Okay. Um, Sounds good. See you later. I'm in the, uh, where am I? I'm in the, uh, this is the R&D room of Tomei Park. This is where the magic happened. But there's no magic happening right now. Why is that? Maybe that's why I was sleeping in the first place. Yeah, so thanks for dropping by. Yeah, yeah, this is really cool, man. There's a lot of cool stuff going on in there, you know. Yeah. Um, do you know where Tush is? I, I was wondering where he just disappeared. He probably wants to go check out some car show stuff. Or maybe he's yeah. just looking for some girls that we have around here. Yeah, maybe, huh? Maybe. Let, me, let me go look for his ass. Oh, yeah? Okay, well, thanks All a lot, Al. Right. No worries. All right. JDM Cider, we're out. This used to be the electric town, but actually now it's uh, it's changing into like made cafe heaven. And uh, the reason is because you, know, you got to figure it's an electric town, and you're all into electronics and all into animation and stuff. But, you know, all the sort of like hardcore losers will come here and and just do their own little thing. But but after a while, these like cutesy little girls started coming out, and they go to these cafes, and then they're like. Right? And then they're like, welcome home, like, master. And then these guys just get off on it and they're like clapping her on. I don't know, man. It's like, it's a sad state of Japanese culture right now. I feel too normal to be here.
fancy desserts. back at t &E's tuning facility, Suiva. Uh, we featured this place in a JDM2 Yokohama Street Drift, but uh, we got another treat today. More power, more cars, more drifting. Tonight we're gonna go check out this uh, new drifting spot. It's about an hour out from here. Uh, we're only gonna take uh, two or three cars today. Uh, Mr. Ueno, uh, his uh, D1 street legal car, uh, Daisuke, in his S14. Uh, and uh, Takahashi Kuniaki and his D1 uh, Chaser. We're gonna go out tonight. Uh, I heard there's like 100 cars out at the street race. It's a really short course, uh, maybe like four corners, um, but, uh, but it's gonna be pretty balls. So this is, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go street racing, we're gonna go do what we do best, and hopefully you have a good time. Let's go. section and and we're supposed to be at the track already but we're not now we're getting gas so we're a little bit late but Hirota you know the guy from the Verosa from JDM2 he uh he put on his blog that we were coming and that Ueno was coming so we just got a phone call from the track right now and suppose there's like 100 cars there and they all know we're coming so I guess it's all over the street right now so fill up with gas and off we go it looks like like something happened. We were uh, we were sort of screwing around on the road as you guys saw. Something flew up and it cracked Takahashi's fender before we even started drifting. Wrong gun. Oh no! Look, wrong gun. The wrong whole gun. thing came off. The whole thing came off. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no!
track is starting to clear up right now, so they're gonna run a lot more intensely. Now we're going uphill and downhill. This guy's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy coonies. You should visit his shop. How to put a little plug in for his new shop because, uh. Are you ready? Are you ready? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Ready. Like I said, we have TNE's president, Mr. Ueno. We have hey. Daisuke, who's in the street legal, D1 street legal right now. And of course, we have Takahashi Kuniaki, who brought out his D1 chaser. Today, 
、トリトリがね。いつもこんな混んでるんですか。いやね、JDM が来るっていうから、みんな張り切ってきちゃってこれ。どうするの、都市のせいだ、都市の。<笑>なんで俺のせいなんですか。これ何、ブログかなんかで流れちゃったらしくて。多分。多分ね、誰かがペラペラペラペラ言ったんだよね<笑>誰だろうあのね、俺は高橋に集めておいてっていうか<笑>俺ね、2、3人しか来るわけじゃないけど、ね、<笑><笑>いや、まずはじゃあ,あのこのコースのちょっとポイントとかあの、まあ、知らない人たちのためにちょっと説明してくださいよポイントポイントは山のくせにギャラリーがいっぱいいるあー今日ね、これ実はね、初めてです<笑>でもなんかカメラカーとしてすごい頑張ってたよねすごいでしょいい映像撮れてるでしょもう任せてもうね d 1をやめてもう今度から撮影に走るとうもうね2007年はカメラそうカメラドライバー<笑>カ,メカメラドライバー上野<笑><笑>すごいじゃないですかで大輔さんも今日走ってたけどどう,どうでした初めてだったんですけどやっぱりちょっと慣れてないせいか難しかったですここって結構人事故るのそうっすね、だいたい先々週もねあの最終コーナーのギャラリーがいるガードレールに1台バカーンって行ってギャラリーびっくりしてブワッて引いたらもうその下が崖だから湖まで落ちてた<笑>マジでホントホントホント危なくね死んだ片足骨折してたあ嘘俺のね知り合いもね事故った人知ってるホンそう。有名な人<笑>俺がここに来てなんか一番なんていうのかな印象に残ったのがいつ行けばいいのかわからないここはだってああそうだね怖いよねアイスもないからねどうやってわかんのまあ、感想野生の感本能、本能本能の流れの感<笑>ありえない、ありえないストリートファイターだから<笑>大体でも、最後の車を先頭のやつが見とけば増え,増えても1台とか2台しか増えないからなんか,なんかさっきギャラリーも結構なんかライトとか照らしてたんですけど、な,なんであれは、最高が来てる時に来てるぞーって見られてる違うよ、多分暗いからこう照らしながら歩いてるだけだと思うよ<笑><笑>うちらそれを親切なギャラリーと思い込んでるだけだったもんねそうだったらねそうそうそう自己満だ<笑>なんか自分もさっきなんか言ってなかったっけ<笑><笑>そんなことなく言ってた違うんだよあれ本当はスタートするの分かんないような感じでしょ、うんうん、実は最後尾のやつとはアイコンタクトがあるいいよいいよ<笑><笑>今大丈夫大丈夫<笑>なんかさ今朝の4時ぐらいだっけ4時なんだけどまだガンガン走ってんのここ何時までやってんのそれ、ね、お日様出るまで<笑>お日様出ちゃうと下ってきた車自分が下るときには上ってきた車のライトが見えないからそうだね正面勝負しちゃうから危ない危ないなるほどねそれはもう相当走り込んでないとわからないようなポイントですよね俺もね前ここ最終ほうが事故ってんだよねそうそう有名,有名な話有名な話よ、まあ、去年かな去年の半ばぐらいかな。け結構行ってたらしいよ結構。クレームまで行っちゃったからね。ああ内緒内緒内緒。<笑>でもみんな知ってるでしょ。みんなこれでみんな知っちゃうよ。分かっちゃう。ああやばいバレたバレた。やばいねバレたねこれ。車両大事故ってたんだね。<笑>やばいねこれ。内緒ですね。内緒内緒。じゃあ話が止まっちゃったね。<笑><笑>まあ話が止まったとこで今日はもう帰って寝ようよ。寝よう。それはグッドアイディアです、ね、だからアメリカにいる JDM のファンもうみんな楽しんでもらいましたでしょうかあのー、いい映像は俺だからね<笑>ナイスカメラマンよ<笑><笑>ということでもうもう寝ましょうじゃあ本当に今日お疲れ様でしたお疲れでした,でしたいや本当疲れた<笑>あのまあ、世界中の車の好きな人たちに、まあ、僕から言えるコメントというのはですねまずその自分の持っている車の性能というものをまず知るということですねそれが実際にあのどのくらいのパフォーマンスを持っててで自分の,そのテクニックがどのレベルであってでそのレベルの人がどこまでのレベルの車を操作することができるか。とということをですねあの皆さんやっぱり勉強してもらった方がいいのかなとそれをやっぱり心がけてもらわないと
どんなにいい車を持っててもまあ僕から言うと本当の車好きな人なのかなと。ジャパニーサラリーマン登場今のペース合わせるのかいよ You know what? It's some Tory time So he probably stopped early for us But don't blame it on other people, motherfucker <laughs> Anything like you with that wig on, dude, he wouldn't bone her, dude. So, anyway, let's go. Let's do this. Cut, cut, cut. What you gotta do is put your feet side by side, side by side. Okay. Stretch your arms out. Stretch your arms out. Don't hit the car though. Stretch your arms out. Okay. And tilt your head back. Put your left finger, left index finger on your nose. And repeat the alphabet backwards. C Y X. Ah, <laughs> you're fucking faded! <laughs> We're gonna race up the stairs, but you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I have the longest legs. It's already written in the histories of stair racing. It's a done deal. Do this. What happens if you lose? Whoever loses takes two shots of tequila at the next bar. I'm down. Check this out. Just because you have the prettiest hands don't mean you know how to use them. So, you know. Okay, let's bring it on. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Ready, set, go. Hi, Tekira! Oh, 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 oh,
made in Fukuoka. This is where the ramen, they have walls. And you can't talk to each other, so you enjoy just the ramen. And you have these tickets, and you order your options. This used to be a members only club. It's delicious. Very delicious. Chicks, they wanted money. I want money to be in our video. Nobody pay.